I think I'm gonna go and swim. What do you think? Uh, you're gonna die. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm not gonna go into because yeah, there's mangroves everywhere. There's gonna be crocodiles everywhere here. So Morning lovely people for us it's time to go. I know we haven't really explored much here, but I think we'll do that on our way back because right now it's so windy and rainy all the time. It's not very pleasant anyways. And now, so it's difficult because in order for us to go to Thursday Island, the first stop is about 80 nautical miles away, which is a bit tough to do in one day. So we've made the decision to do another night and instead of going not to the first stop, not to the second stop, we're going to the third stop. Hopefully we can make it to Thursday Island in a, in a few days. So glad we've done it because now we are just a couple of days away from Thursday Island. We did it and it's beautiful. We just can't snorkel because there's uh, crocodiles in the water. It's not recommended to go swimming. I think I'm gonna go and swim. What do you think? Uh, you're gonna die. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not gonna go into because yeah, there's mangroves everywhere. There's gonna be crocodiles everywhere here. So let's have a power nap. As you may know, we usually aren't big fan of, of overnight sails, but this one was very good. No problems, good wind conditions, happy couple. Now, looking forward to a good night of sleep. Hey, hey. new day of sailing! But today, there's not that much wind, so guess what? We've got the spinnaker! So, really excited today because we had a good night of rest. The anchorage was quite comfortable. Today the conditions look a lot better. There's a lot less wind, no rain, no nothing. And we only have 46 nautical miles. The positive point is, we are almost at the top of Australia. Oh, yeah. We are so close to the top. I can smell it. Indonesia, we're coming! Yay! Yay! Fun! Training of the day! Okay, so we have to go in between all of those islands. Jan is going to steer by hand. Because the autopilot doesn't always keep a straight line, it's just a bit safer. We can control the boat a bit more, especially with the spinnaker. <laughs> to stop there but it's only 1 p.m. so we've decided we're just gonna keep going because it's so nice the spinnaker is not moving it's just use that wind straight to Thursday Island we finally made it to Thursday Island which is right in front of us so now we're gonna find a spot to anchor because there's a lot of boats. I didn't expect that at all. So 
gonna try to find a spot in Horn Island and I think we're gonna take a nap. <laughs> and that's it. With much better wind conditions, we made it to Thursday Island in two and a half days. Not bad, right? To clear out of Australia, the office is in Thursday Island, but the anchorage there is exposed to the wind, so instead we are anchoring on the northwest side of the island across Horn Island. It is much better, although in the mangrove with a few crocodiles as neighbors, and we can just dinghy over or take a ferry to Thursday Island. Where are we going? We are going to the immigration desk to clear out of Australia. Scary and exciting? It is exciting. Alright, yeah. let's go. Yep, let's go. Welcome to Thursday Island. Located in the Torres Strait, which separates the Australian mainland from Papua New Guinea, TI is Australian most northerly port. The island has been inhabited for thousands of years by the Torres Strait Islanders. European occupation started around 1875. Not long after, a lucrative pearl industry was founded on the island and attracted workers from Asia, Japanese being the most numerous. In 1890s, Green Hill Fort was built to protect against the threat of Russian invasion and then became became military headquarters during World War II for Australian and US personnel. The island was spared from bombing in World War II due to it being the burial places for many Japanese and possibly the Japanese thinking there were still Japanese residents on the island. Today, the fort and its cannons remain a relic of the past on one of the island's best vantage points. Emptying the beans. Wow. Living in Australia, what belongs in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> I think Indonesia has enough plastic as it is. Yep. Don't need to bring Better more. not bring more plastic. Exactly. And then on our way to Custom. Yep. We did wander around Thursday Island for a little bit as we needed to finalize all of our provisioning before crossing. Nothing major, as we did most of it in Cairns, where it is much cheaper. As a point of comparison, for example, to exchange our 3.7 kilos gas bottle, we had to pay $60 instead of the usual 23. So my only advice is you better be prepared if you're heading there. On our list was mostly fresh food, gas refilled, and other bits and pieces before the main thing, of course, the visit to the custom building to clear out of Australia. We did stick to the main street where all the shops are, but you could explore and walk around the island, which I believe takes about two hours. But the weather forecast looks really good for us to depart tomorrow, so no time to waste, as we still have a few things to prepare on the boat. This is Borderfell's building. This is where we clear out and we've just been in. Obviously we can't film because you don't film Border Force. They were super nice, they printed everything for us. They knew we were going to Indonesia so they printed all of the paperwork that we'll need to bring with us to Indonesia. It took us like five minutes and that's it. We are no longer in Australia. I mean we are, but our passport are not. So excited! Fresh fruits. We have printed the document for Indonesia, done. Uh, ABF clearance, done. Gas refill, done. What more? High five. So the dinghy is here and we need to go all the way back to the other island. In I think it's there. The other island. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> here, not here. Great sense of orientation, as you can it's see. It's good I'm the one driving. Eh? All the way there. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I am driving. Take two. No, no, there's the no take two. The jing is here, and we have to go all the way to the other island there. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's what you said the first time. Eh? All right. Back on board, let's do the last preps, storing and food prep. What are you doing? I'm trying to get that lock out. It's not working. Why do you need to do that? So for the passage, we're gonna remove the engine, put it in the cockpit so there's less weight in the so if we have big waves or whatever, we are clear to go. I don't want any issue. So, removing weights. 
All right, let's do that. In theory, that's a quick job, but the engine weighs about 45 kilos, there's no good way to grab it, and the dinghy doesn't stay in position next to the boat. So yeah, not that easy at all. Who says you don't get to exercise on the boat? Alright, this is a spot for the crossing. It's a bit annoying, but that's the only place where we can put it, so yeah, it's just gonna stay there. We have a spot here for a smaller engine. But that one is way too heavy for that to hold. It could hold, but if we have a wave or whatever, we don't want everything to fall off. Especially so. not stalling. No, 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 nothing. <laughs> uh, let's empty the dinghy now. So I'm making a lot of meals or meal options for the crossing so that we don't have to have to cook while underway. So just made a lot of things that we can put together and pretend like it's a meal, like a lot of pasta, quinoa, lentil, eggs, that sort of things. Um, but the truth is when we are underway, we tend to not eat real meal. We tend to eat meatballs all day long. So we also have a lot of options like cracker, cheese, that sort of things. So yeah, should be good and should avoid having to do any food prep during the crossing. The only thing that we'll have to do is cut the watermelon so that we can have fresh watermelon on the way. And just like that, we are ready to depart. Come and join us next week to see our crossing to Indonesia, the one we have been waiting for forever. This marks the end of our adventures in Australia for now, but we will be back very soon. For now, let's go explore the missing part of the coral triangle. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please drop us a like and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye!